Hello, everyone. Well, the ongoing COVID-19 public health emergency may be giving delivery services using unmanned aircraft an opportunity to shine. And one company called Wing has been stepping up its deliveries using a small drone that it's developed in the small Virginia town of Christiansburg. And between here and three other sites in Finland and Australia, we'll get the details on that in a minute. And it's made between well, just over 100,000 flights now, I think, in total. The drone can deliver packages weighing up to around three pounds and for distances up to about six miles. So I'm chatting today with Alexa Dennett at Wing to find out a bit more about what's going on here. Alexa, you're delivering at the moment fairly small, relatively low value items with this aircraft. Um, one question that popped into my head, is there really enough sort of added value here moving things like this around this way, you know, when we could have people on bikes or in small cars doing it? Really great question. So what Wing has done is built a drone delivery system and a unmanned traffic management platform, which is like a, a very sophisticated mapping software to help route things through the sky safely. And why we've developed this system is, is twofold. So firstly, we really believe that people uh, need things like medicines, uh, food in a very short time frame. Uh, much quicker than you could get delivered by any means of transport today, like a car or a bike. So we can get you, uh, let's say you have a headache, we can get you a headache tablet to your yard in literally a handful of minutes. And we've seen many thousands of our customers around the world really see a lot of value in that. I think the second thing that is often overlooked with, with this kind of technology is that cars and trucks are, you know, spend, they, they cause gridlock in a lot of urban areas, but also sure. they emit a lot of carbon emissions. So it sort of somewhat seems crazy to put a two pound package in a 2000 pound vehicle. And so what we've really tried to do is look at the problem and think, how can we be most energy efficient with this delivery of this, this item? And so what we've done is develop a 10 pound drone that can carry a 3.3 pound payload all of which is you know an electric energy efficient design and we emit 99 um, times less carbon emissions than a comparable car or truck and that's what keeps us really excited about this technology right well that's good and of course in the video that uh, we've seen we saw a family uh, enjoying some some popcorn being delivered to them but i suppose in another scenario that could be you know covid 19 home test kits and potentially prescription medication being sent to somebody. Look, absolutely. They're all, you know, options that we would we would love to consider. I mean, currently in our um, in our service area in Virginia, which we uh, have undertaken since October, and it's part of the FAA and the Department of Transport in the United States, their pilot program to integrate drones more quickly into the US airspace. We've been delivering a range of products from Walgreens, uh, so a number of over-the-counter over -counter pharmaceuticals, but also um, a range of home staple items, which we've really expanded in the coming the past few weeks since COVID has has come about and, and really prevented people from leaving their homes. So right now we're seeing people buy a, a range of like canned soups, baby food. In fact, toilet paper is you know among our top three sellers in that area. Yeah. Um, in, in, in addition to this, the other thing that we're really excited about, um, the potential of this technology is to help small business. So in Christiansburg, Virginia, we've just partnered with two new local businesses, um, one called Brew Coffee and the other Mockingbird Cafe. And basically they are you know, a bakery and a coffee store who've been forced to close as a consequence of the stay, stay home orders. Uh, except for being able to do takeaway and, and delivery, which they didn't have any infrastructure to do. And what we've seen really excitingly is they have actually made more sales through the Wing platform and having air delivery than they did before COVID when people could visit their store. So we really see this as a technology to help all businesses, you know, expand their customer reach, especially today during these difficult times. Good, that's clear. Now, just in simple terms, how does the business model work? I mean, somebody has to sort of pay for the, the delivery service. Uh, how, how is that sort of shared out between the consumer and the companies that you're supporting? So at the moment, um, we've only been operating our delivery services for less than a year. And so we're basically giving it away, particularly in COVID times for free. So we're not charging businesses, we're not charging end consumers. But what we do ask in return is for people to give us feedback. 
So really at this point in our, in our technology development, we want to know from the businesses we partner with and also the, the customers who we deliver to, what do they find most valuable about this technology? So we can continue refining it and making the offer, offering even better into the future. Right, that's great. Now, as part of the process to do this, I saw that last year you were approved by the US Federal Aviation Administration as a certified air carrier, you know, mm -hmm. a, a small scale airline by any other name. Um, was that quite a tall order to achieve that? And are you going to have to sort of replicate that in other countries where you're looking to launch service? Yeah, we were really excited last year to be the, the first drone operator in the United States to get air carrier certification, meaning that we can operate a commercial service. Um, and that really stands as a testament to our safety case. So we, we worked with the FAA closely for a number of years to demonstrate to them that we were our operations and procedures were, you know, were of a, such a standard that we, we warranted that certification. And that's something that, you know, we're incredibly, um, we're incredibly uh, proud of. So I guess, it, you know, the question that you ask about whether this is required, you know, globally, it really just depends on the different jurisdictions. So in Australia, for example, we are um, authorised to fly beyond visual line of sight of the uh, of the pilot, the drones are autonomous, but there are pilots overseeing the operations at large, and also flight conducting flights over people, but they don't have the same uh, air carrier certification process in Australia. They have a different system, uh, which requires us again to produce a lot of data to show our safety case. So, um, we you know we work everywhere we work around the world. We work with the relevant airspace regulator to make sure that our operations are safe and signed off on and and uh you know we, we as we expand we will continue to do that fair enough okay and roughly speaking what might come next for you you're doing these trials uh, in virginia i think there's a couple of places in australia you you're doing this and uh, helsinki too in finland um so what comes next expand it on this scale to different places or might you try and have larger aircraft that can carry larger things all of those options are on the table. At the moment, we're really focusing on our commercial services in, in Virginia, in Logan, in, and also in Mitchell in Australia, um, and also in, in Helsinki, as you said. And we're really focusing on making those services as valuable as we possibly can during this really difficult time for people. Uh, and as I said, we, we have a range of different things that we're looking to do, uh, and we'll keep you posted as soon as we have more to share. That's perfect, Alexa. Thanks very much. Well, obviously, these are exceptional times, exceptionally challenging times, and uh, lots of people are thinking laterally. Wing, clearly a great example of that and a great way to apply this technology. So thanks so much, Alexa. Thank you very much for having me on. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.